Among the major tools, Cadence has Allegro, AllCAD, Sigrity, Virtuoso, and last but not least, Spectre. Now, Allegro and AllCAD are used for PCB design and analysis, Sigrity for signal and power integrity analysis, Virtuoso and Spectre are for custom and mixed signal IC design. So this video actually focuses on IC design process. So we will limit our introduction within Virtuoso and Spectre. Virtuoso family of tools provide a schematic editing, layout design of the circuit, DRC, which is known as design rule check, which is very important, and Finally, layout versus schematic or LVS. And Spectre is Cadence's spice tool for circuit simulation. It is integrated in Virtuous platform. It provides a bunch of powerful analysis tools such as DCAC and transient analysis. S parameter analysis for linear circuits harmonic balance, periodic steady state or quasi-periodic steady state analysis for non-linear circuits and many more. Basically, it provides detailed transistor level analysis in multiple domains. The fact is, Cadence does not run in Windows. Most of the Cadence tools are Linux based and run on a server. Usually, users need to log into Linux server to initiate Cadence from their workstation. And the Linux server can be accessed through any remote login client tool through SSH network protocol, like shown in the figure. Now, let's connect to Cadence server in my lab. Now, I need to connect through OpenVPN. Okay, so connect. And it is getting connected. So this is my SSH shell terminal. I need to write down a few lines of code to connect to the server. I need to give my username and password. And a few lines more code. All right. This is called Common Interpreter Window, or CIW in short. The title bar of the CIW contains the name of the workbench that you are running. Since I'm running Virtuoso, so it's the name is Virtuoso written on the title bar. Now let's open Library Manager from Tool Option. This is the center hub of your virtual platform where you can see all the libraries. The Library Manager is divided into three parts, Library, Cell and View. To understand how Cadence treats its project files, you need to know its hierarchy. Library is the topmost entity in Cadence under which there can be multiple cells. Now each cell can contain partial component of a larger IC. This approach allows more control in design and troubleshooting of the circuit. Again, each cell can contain multiple views, for example, symbol, schematic or layout views. Now let's create our very first library in Cadence Virtuoso. Go to File and then New and Library. Give a library a name, for example, maybe intro underscore 
in him. Okay. Now this window is asking for ICPDK file. PDK is the short form for Process Design Kit. PDK is the heart of IC design process. These files are given to the IC design engineer by the semiconductor foundries such as IBM, TSMC, and Corvo, and many more. Using the PDK transistors and other elements, design engineers make the IC, and finally, they submit the final design to the fab companies for chip fabrication. Since in the introduction video, we're going to use the default analog library to keep things simple for beginners. So we will not include any custom PDK here. We will just select the last option and proceed. Okay, so find out our newly created library on the library window. Here is our library, but it does not have any cells. We need to create the new cell here. So again, go to file menu select new this time select cell view now name yourself for example maybe cell 1 and make sure your view is a schematic it's very important okay so press ok now we have created a cell Okay, so this is the schematic window for Cadence Virtuous Platform. You can make your circuit schematic on this window. To add any device, for example, resistor or capacitor or voltage source, just go to create an instance. Since we will use the default analog library, browse to the analog library. So we will include a resistor, just type R, E, and S, and the resistor will jump in. Make sure that you select the symbol on the view window, and there is a tiny window on the view option where you can see the symbolic view of the instance. Place the resistor on this window. Again, we need to include a voltage source, a DC voltage source. So for that, just write down V, D, and C. All right, so this is our DC voltage source. Place it somewhere here. And press escape key to get out of the instance mode. Now we can move any instance anywhere on the window. For example, let's move them here. And we need to connect the nodes of these components. To connect the components node, just go to create option. Again, from there, go to where and connect the individual nodes. This one connected to that node. We also need to include a ground because we need a reference point in the circuit. So again, go to create an instance and from here, the name of the ground cell is G and D. And let's put the ground on this node. All right. Now we have a resistive series circuit and that's how we make schematic in Virtuoso. Now to change any component value, we just select the component and right click and go to properties. For example, here we want to change the resistance value. Similarly, if you'd like to change the voltage source value, just right click and go to properties. You can give a DC voltage of 5 volts. All right. So until now, you have a very good introduction to Cadence Virtue. So we will learn simulating this circuit and view the voltage and current waveform in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. 
You can watch the next video and learn how to simulate this circuit.